Hello, friends. Welcome to Adventures in Food with Howard. If you've been here before, thanks for stopping by again. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My shout out for today goes to Mama Julie Cooks. Her recipes are always so interesting and look so tasty. The link to her channel will be in the description box. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy fruit tart that looks spectacular, but thanks to some shortcuts that I take, putting this together is as easy as one, two, three. What you'll need for this recipe is one refrigerated pie dough, one box of Jell-O vanilla cook and serve pudding, not the instant pudding, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, one pint of fresh ripe strawberries, one can of mandarin orange segments, and a half cup of apricot preserves. Normally, I'm not a big fan of kitchen equipment that has a single function, but you really can't make this recipe without a removable bottom tart pan. They are not expensive, and when you realize how easy this is to put together, you'll be making tarts again and again, savory as well as sweet. Your pre-made pie dough should be removed from the refrigerator at least an hour before you're going to use it and allow it to come to room temperature. Unroll the pie dough and fit it into an 8 or 9 inch removable bottom tart pan. Follow the instructions that come with the pie dough on how to pre-bake the pie shell for a filled pie. When finished, your tart shell should be a golden brown and fully cooked. Cook the Jell-O vanilla pudding according to the box directions, adding the one teaspoon of vanilla at the end of the cooking. Also make sure that you're using the instructions for making pie filling and not the instructions for making pudding. Allow the pie filling to cool to room temperature and scoop it into the baked tart shell. Next, you want to go through your strawberries and find the ripest berries in the basket and try to choose berries that are about the same size. Wash and dry the berries carefully and remove the green stem end. Place the strawberry on your cutting board stem end down and cut the strawberry vertically into four or five slices, about a quarter of an inch thick or less. It's better to prepare too many strawberries than not enough, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun part. Arrange your strawberries in a decorative ring along the outer edge of the tart pan. Place another ring of strawberries on top of the first ring of strawberries, offsetting them slightly as shown. Once you've finished the second ring of strawberries, open the can of mandarin orange slices and drain them well. Place the orange slices in a decorative ring next to the strawberry slices as shown. Once the ring of orange slices is complete, I like to finish the center ring with horizontally sliced strawberries, but you can decorate the center ring as you like. You can also use other fruits such as blueberries, peaches or nectarines, kiwis, plums, grapes, etc. Just make sure that the fruit is ripe, unblemished and thinly sliced. Once all the fruit has been arranged on the top of your tart, the final step in turning this into a showpiece is to glaze all the fruit with a shiny glaze. To make a glaze, place about one half cup of apricot or any kind of jam into a small saucepan with a couple of tablespoons of water. Heat this on low heat until the jam is melted and is mixed with the water. Strain the jam through a fine mesh strainer into a small bowl and use this liquid to glaze your fruit. The final result will be more than worth this extra step. It will give your tart a very polished and professional look. The glaze not only makes your tart look more professional, but it has the added benefit of gluing the fruit into place, making it less likely that the fruit is going to shift around on top of the tart. This tart is best eaten the same day that it's made, but you can also keep it in the refrigerator for a few hours before serving it. I hope you give this a try. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified of future videos. Also give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love hearing from all of you. I hope to see you next time on Adventures in Food with Howard. Bye for now.